what is up guys this is Cheeto back with another video with the dot face rom based on android 12 l on redmi k20 pro and this is the 10th july 2022 build and of course this rom comes with gf's variant only here it's mentioned and you will need the latest firmware and stuff for flashing this rom and if you don't know how to actually flash this custom rom on your redmi k20 pro you can check out the guide from the description right now let me tell you that i have been using this rom for a couple of days now and my impressions overall has been really good on this particular rom and yes dark faced is one of my favorite roms on the redmi k20 pro and still this time i feel the same so let me show you what's special about this rom well the stock launcher is the most important or like to me at least this is the most interesting part about the dark faced rom that we get the dark launcher by default here and what's interesting about that is in the misc settings you will find the station disabling option and stuff the scrolling vibration the hiding app option and the use taskbar and the show grid of recent apps and stuff let me go back in the app drawer we have the drawer labels the themed icons you can enable in the home screen settings we will get the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen that's the most interesting part i would say and here we also have the desktop labels and stuff you can customize it thoroughly however you would like to also you can actually customize the icon packs and stuff and from here you can change the size of the icons and the fonts and in terms of the notification dots and stuff you can enable all those now here let me show you that you have the double tap to sleep but first of all let me just enable the always on display from the quick toggles i'll show you the quick toggles in detail later on but first let me show you as you can see this is how the always on display works and yes double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is working fine and even the double tap to wake is working perfectly fine here and if you are noticing the fingerprint scan speed it's amazingly fast just notice even from the always on display it's just amazingly fast and if you're wondering if there is the fingerprint like fingerprint scanner on screen off yes it's there as you are noticing i just tapped the fingerprint scanner over here even when the screen is off it unlocks super fine with the fingerprint scanner even with the like screen of fod feature by the way to the left of the home screen this is pretty similar we get the google's discover page and swiping up gets you to the app drawer this is working perfectly fine you can search for any particular app over here and swiping down gets you to the quick selling panel and this is a default wallpaper of this particular rom and let me actually show you that we have these dot faced wallpapers and you will get this all like owl kind of art over here looks beautiful i would say i have been using this one right now let me talk about the widgets yes the google's clock widget and stuff they are working fine as you can see this is the bigger kind of version of the google's clock widget and yes tapping on them it does this kind of animation looks beautiful and everywhere the ui is just like buttery smooth no problems whatsoever that i have faced and even the other widget that i use is working perfectly fine here now talking with the quick selling panel this is how it looks like we have the wi-fi mobile data the bluetooth toggle and stuff and talking about the bluetooth devices this is a boat 411 anc over here and as you are noticing it shows the bluetooth battery icon right there also in the quick selling panel it shows the battery percentage of the bluetooth device so yes bluetooth devices are working perfectly fine even the wired headset the bluetooth headset everything should be working great over here even the speakers if you have some yes they are working fine even the inbuilt phone speakers are really loud on this particular rom no problems that i have faced and while i'm playing a music it looks like this it looks beautiful in the lock screen and here as well in the quick setting panel it has this kind of ui it looks beautiful overall i would say even over here if i show you that as you can see this is how the music playback actually looks like you can play or pause or hit next or you can switch your audio device if you want to just notice how beautiful the ui overall looks also the dark theme is there and you can actually use the pitch black option in the dark theme auto rotate is there the night light hotspot the always on display toggling option yes the always on display on charge is there as well and the screen recorder is there we have the device audio and microphone re audio recording at the same time but for some reason it doesn't do the android 12 l kind of animation i don't know why and even here if you're noticing yes there is that frosted glass kind of effect in the power menu and of course there is the advanced reboot option you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot but it doesn't do that kind of animation over here for some reason i don't know why but yeah that's how it is we have the do not disturb the data saver the battery saver and stuff and the google home controls extra dim feature is there and there is the sound toggle if you tap and hold on it we get the volume panel just like this and you can expand the volume panel from here and of course you can switch the audio from right here it looks weirdly right now not really sure why but yeah it works fine and we have the dc dimming and the high brightness mode or the outdoor brightness mode works great we have the reboot or like reboot recovery and stuff toggle over here really handy features and of course you can edit and like add any other toggle that you would like to add talking about the about section it's pretty familiar and we have the dot face logo up top and the platform version shows as android 12 l of course and even here 
if you make this clock to like 12 o'clock it will show android 12 l over here and here we have dirt face version as 12 official senju still and we have the maintainer's name anurag bhomik so huge thanks to the developer for this amazing rom the security patch you are getting latest over here july 5th 2022 here we get the stock kernel that's the snap light kernel 4.14 version and this next status is enforcing here in the system panel this is how it looks like we have the developer option stuff because i have enabled those but in the gesture and keys we get the gesture navigation and in the settings we have the swipe to invoke assistant that should be working perfectly fine and we got the left edge right edge customization if you scroll down more we have the back gesture animation the haptic feedback customization or enabling option and the full screen gestures the ime button space you can customize all these pill margin from bottom you can actually change that to highest to low and we have the pill length and the pill radius customization so if you want really thick pill bar you can actually go super thick over here you are noticing right now the pill bar is looking quite like thick and quite long and we have the advanced gestures over here you can enable the extended swipe actions and we have all these like options for the advanced gesture options so yeah huge amount of customizations are there even in terms of the gestures navigation and we have the two button and three button options one handed mode is there it works perfectly fine you can even customize that from right here quick tap option is there that's the back tap also the swipe quick screenshot works perfectly fine here let me show you there's the share edit delete and the google lens and even the capture mode feature let me show you up close one more time if i take a screenshot as you can see you got all these options so yeah you can use any of them but this actually goes away really quickly for some reason let me scroll down more we have the double tap to sleep and the playback control volume record wake and the disable power menu on lock screen that's a safety kind of feature we have the enable advanced reboot option and the quick torch and we have the press and hold power button for assistant then we got the pop-up camera customization here we have the calibration options and with this of course you can calibrate the front camera motor if it's stuck or something and we have the sound effects for the pop-up camera then we got the front camera raised dialogue and the camera LED customization that's pretty much it about the system settings now in terms of the customization yes inside dirt space you will get amazing amount of customizations yes i have showed you this customization panel a lot earlier so i'm not gonna show you everything but yes you can guess this rom has amazing amount of customizations no issues whatsoever that you will face with the customizations over here and even you get the fod icon picker and stuff i'll show you the icon packs of the fingerprint scanner icon and as you can see there is that one plus kind of icon then we have the spider-man kind of icons and a lot more options for these icons even the mclaren option is there so yeah huge amount of fingerprint scanner icons are there even for the animations you will find it amazing and let me actually switch the star wars one and let me show you how it looks so yeah this is how it looks with the star wars one we have the mclaren the supernova the cyberpunk 2077 pulsar everything also the fonts are just like plethora of options are there even the big neutral titling is there so yeah a lot of options for the fonts then we have the icon pack options and it just doesn't end i would say and yes just notice the signal icon packs i mean did you find this much option in any other rom i don't know but yeah here you will get huge huge amount of options for everything and i would say this is pretty much the maximum customization that i have ever seen even we have the unlimited google photos and stuff so yeah that's pretty much all the customizations i would say and in the battery settings i'm kind of disappointed that we do not get the battery charging cycle seeing option but yeah, that's fine we get to see the battery temperature right here then the idle manager the block sensor and the other settings yes my device's battery is very old but right now let me actually show you i have tested the battery life with this aqua battery app and with that i have got about seven hours plus of screen on time and i would say that should be decent for this battery that i have over here it's almost three years old and has 700 plus charging cycles but yes i would say with like very heavy usage you can get up to six to seven hours of screen on time over here that should not be a problem but if you have replaced your battery you will be getting more than eight to nine hours of screen on time i would say so that's gonna be really enough and in the health section as you can see my battery's health is not that good i have about 60 percent health left in terms of charging yes fast charging works fine i really like the charging animation over here looks beautiful and yes i definitely liked the charging animation yes fast charging is working fine with 18 or 33 watt fast charger it should be working perfectly fine here in terms of the sound settings this is how it looks like we have all this media volume controls if you scroll down more yes we do get the volume panel timeout option you can actually customize that also the vibration and haptics there are a huge amount of customization for this let me go back we have the touch sound part of volume control the screenshot sound and the clear speaker options and stuff are there in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like we have all these app grid and the system icon packs again and over here we have the system fonts 
just notice how many fonts are there the scrolling it just scrolls away so yeah and you get the themed icons the app grid is up to like 6 by 10 so that's huge and we have the dark theme again and all the accent color changing option you can do from right here in terms of the display settings we have the brightness level the adaptive brightness extra dim feature is there in terms of the live display we have all this color calibration then if you go back we have the lock screen customization from right here we have the double line clock disabling option double tap to sleep on lock screen option is there you can enable it if you want to the dark theme option is there again and we have this allow window level blurs and we have the night light the colors set to saturated right now show refresh rate option is there for some reason if you want to enable that by the way this rom is running at 60 hertz all the time it's not 72 hertz if you're willing to see that and we have the double tap to wake and the prevent accidental wake up is the pocket detection simply and the wake up on plug option is there again we have the custom display setting so you do get dc dimming and high brightness mode right out of the box here in terms of the security in the settings we do get the quick unlock so yes quick unlock option is there if you're looking for that also in terms of the face unlock and fingerprint let me just quickly set up the face unlock so that i can show you yes as you can see the camera pops out we do get this option to actually change this to when swiping up on the lock screen so only swiping up will actually access the face unlock settings and in the fingerprint scanner option we have two fingerprints added and already i have showed you the fingerprint scanner speed but let me show you how the app lock works and inside app lock we have this protected apps and in here you can search for any particular app that you are looking for even the google photos options and stuff are there but right now i'm going to show you the face unlock so let me just double tap over here then if i swipe up as you can see it shows recognizing face and right now as you can see it's unlocked let me try one more time to show you the face unlock speed and yep it's working perfectly fine even with the face unlock no problems whatsoever right now let me show you the app lock speed and here if i tap to this telegram app as it's locked it shows this kind of ui it has a like bloody kind of look looks beautiful i would say and in the like few minutes scanner if i tap as you can see it has unlocked the telegram app so app lock has been working really fine no problems whatsoever with the app lock over here now let's talk about a very interesting part about this rom is the camera the stock camera over here is a really interesting one this looks different i would say so i can't really see the camera's name but yeah this is how the camera ui looks like this is a stock camera which is present you can optimize for quality and latency and in the video settings we have all these settings again and we can shoot up to 4k option is also there there is the flashlight option and also there is the include audio enable eis all these options really cool and let me actually show you if i switch to the front camera we can shoot up to 1080p option right here i would say this camera is decent you can control the exposure and the zooming and stuff and even with the normal camera mode it's actually the self illumination or self illumination and yes it works fine so i would say yes this is a really cool kind of camera you can actually use this you can check out the shutter speed if you are willing to see that just notice as you can see it has taken the picture so yeah this is a really good camera but i have installed the gcam this is a 8.5 gcam it's been working perfectly fine here as you can see you have all these options even the night sight mode and stuff is working perfectly fine no problems whatsoever with this gcam and i would say you can definitely install any kind of gcam that you would want to but yes i'll definitely link this gcam in the description do not worry even with this gcam there is a really cool feature that you can use like this microphone switching option is there so if you're recording videos and stuff if you have connected to a bluetooth device you can use that bluetooth device's mic to actually if you're vlogging or something and also there is the full hd 60 fps option and 4k 30 fps options overall i would say the ui actually stays really smooth no problems whatsoever that i have faced and it's running at 60 hertz default and we have like the split top mode and stuff if you are looking for those as you can see split top is working perfectly fine you can scale the apps just like this and you can scroll between both of these apps no problems whatsoever and if you are looking at the recent panel this is how it looks like and in here we also have the clear all option the google lens option and the screenshot option but yes the clear all and stuff does not appear once you have a split top app open for some reason i don't know why but yeah this is how it is but both the app stays in the memory even when you're using split top so that's really cool talking about the basic things like the dear main fan stuff and yes it has l1 certification so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p without any problems here also if you're wondering about the banking apps yes safety net passes right out of the box over here so it should not give you any problem while using banking apps right out of the box in this rom and here are the entrant geekbench score with a cpu stress test on this particular build so if you ask me what do i think about this particular rom i would say yes definitely it's a daily driver 
The battery life is great. It has rebel tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. Very convenient feature, and it has all the animations and the customizations. Just makes the Dart Face ROM one of the best for me at least. And yes, if you are a customization lover, this ROM is gonna be amazing and a very convenient ROM. I find like based on Android 12 L at least for the Redmi K20 Pro. Let me in the comments. What do you guys think? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.